Well, wasn't expecting this week um, at all, but here we are. Um, it's a little late. Um, I know we still got a couple hours until um, the game tonight, I know. But let's break down week three, baby. Um, week three of the NFL season came and it was gone like like, like that. Um, Gardner Minshew, the Gar Minshew mania, um, really took the levity from the Thursday night game. The Titans looked absolutely terrible. The Jags defense was just all over Marcus Mariota. And, you know, the Jags get the win. Wasn't even close. The score was a lot closer um, than the game indicated. Talk about them boys, them Dallas Cowboys. Um, took care of business. Um, we struggled in the first half against the Dolphins, but you know it's the Dolphins. They're gonna be. They might. The Dolphins might just go 0 and 16. I'm not even joking with you. Uh, it's really that bad. Um, but yeah, we took care of business. You know, Tony Pollard and Zeke Elliott ran for over 100 yards. That is some good beans right there. I didn't even realize it until it was over that. He ran for over the Tony Pollard ran for over 100. I knew Zeke would run for over 100, but I didn't think Tony Pollard would. Uh, the Bengals look like look bad right now. They're not looking too good. You know, um, the Bills they keep winning with you know Josh Allen keep they keep winning that guy. I mean, he's he's really developing into his own right now. For the Bills, so, you know, they they could pose a threat to New England. You know, the Bills are undefeated there, and they they could pose a threat. No, who can't really pose a threat to anybody right now? It's the god dang Philadelphia Eagles. Boy, oh boy, how do you how do you mess this up? You had the game get wrapped to you by the Lions, and you you know you just you just fumble it away like it was nothing. What in the world were y'all thinking? Um, just, just bad, 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 bad play uh, by the Eagles. They really need to fix that. You know, the Eagles have a game coming up tonight, um, which we'll talk about. Shut up. Um, but you know, the Jets took on the Patriots. It wasn't even wasn't even anything that interesting. You know, it's the Patriots. Colts and Falcons was an intriguing matchup. But ultimately, the Colts um, got the W. Falcons weren't even gonna. Falcons weren't even, you know, just they just weren't there. They weren't all the way there. Um, Raiders lose to the Vikings by 20. Wasn't even close. Doesn't even matter. Um, the Ravens Chiefs game was a good one. It was a good one to watch Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, um, he, you know what? I'm going to say it. he could be the next Michael Vick. He could be. He really could be. Um, but Mahomes, you know, it was just too much at the end, you know. I mean, the Ravens cut it close. The Ravens um, really, really cut this game close. And I think these two teams will meet again um, when it comes playoff time. When it comes playoff time, they will meet again. I can guarantee it. Man, that was tough, tough decisions, though. Some really rough and just absolutely baffling type plays during that game uh, as far as fourth downs go. Just crazy. Um, Packers took care of business against the Broncos. Broncos were not, were still kind of upset about the whole Bears thing, but they didn't go out and play um, as good as they would have liked. Um, Trask, I think that's his name, uh, for the Panthers. Uh, obviously, it was against the Cardinals, but, you know, came out there and started slinging the ball, started making plays. It was great. It was great to watch. Um, great to watch, you know, that guy just do his thing. Oh, my bad. That is that is not, I am thinking of somebody else. Kyle Allen, my bad. Panthers fans, my bad. I'm thinking of the Florida guy. It's okay. It's been a long week. I'm sorry. But, you know, young QBs are shining is today's biggest focus, you know. And, you know, Allen, he was just Throwing the ball, throwing the ball with precision, doing what he needed to do. You know, he didn't make any mistakes. It was against the Cardinals. Again, it was against the Cardinals. Um, yeah, Panthers are going to be set for a little while with 
him as the starter. Cam's still hurt. So, you know, it is what it is. I think Cam might be broken. I think he's he's probably he probably should retire himself. He's just not looking the same. Um, but he, Here's a guy who's probably going to be riding on the bench all season. And he might just end up be like deserving. You know, Eli Manning, Daniel Jones, the legend of Daniel Jones, but it really wasn't even about Daniel Jones. Um, people are already hyping up Daniel Jones. It is what it is. You know, he led them to this victory, but the Giants' defense was absolutely abysmal against Jameis Winston. But it was only due to Matt Gay missing a extra, missing a couple of extra points and the field goal at the very end of the game. Buccaneers fans gotta be wanting him out. Matt Gay, get out! Just get out of Tampa right now, my guy. Uh, Saints, well, I mean, it really the score is a lot closer again. The score is a lot closer than the game indicated. The Saints just absolutely dominate the Seahawks. Um, Teddy Bridgewater did well. Uh, yeah, that Saints defense is just something, something else. We'll talk about the Saints defense a little bit more when we get to the, the four preview. Texans taking on Chargers. Um, you know, it was a dog fight. It really was a dog fight, but you know, the Texans got out of it in the end. I think Chargers made too many mistakes in this game on defense. You know, really need to fix that. Here's a team that really needs to fix their errors really quick, and that was the 49ers. Uh, obviously, you know, Mason Rudolph was starting. You know, Big Ben's out for the season. And, you know, the 49ers turned it over five times, and maybe it was just Pittsburgh's ineptitude that caused the 49ers to win because the Pittsburgh Steelers could not capitalize off of any turnovers. I think they only got like six or seven points off of turnovers. So, you know. 49ers get lucky, you know, it is what it is. Uh, 49ers really need to clean up some stuff. Um, meanwhile, the Rams, they looked absolutely terrible against the Browns, but the Browns were just about as inept as they were. It, it, admittedly, more inept than the Browns. The, the Browns, I mean, all this hype about Baker Mayfield, all this hype about this offense did not – did not look too good against, against the Rams on Sunday night. Did not look good at all. Fourth and nine. What is Freddie Kitchens thinking? A draw. Down near the end zone. Ten yard line and and you know to tie the game and whatnot. Four straight passes out of the gun. Unbelievable. Unbelievable play calling. This is just bad play calling. People need to realize, they really need to realize, hey, be smarter with your play calling. It, it, it's been happening oh, for, it's been happening for a while across the NFL and college world. Bad play calls really, really take out my excitement. It's just like, why? Why are you being so dumb with your play calls? Just don't do it. Don't be dumb. The Bears just absolutely destroyed the Redskins. It wasn't even close. Uh, Came him through five interceptions, you know, Khalil Mack, uh, and, and the rest of the Bears defense, Trevathan, you know, all them guys, they were just doing work against the Redskins. Bears didn't even need to try. So, yeah, I think, you know, this week really exemplified the young quarterbacks, the younger guys that have been in, that haven't been in the league very long, and they were absolutely stupendous this week. Just, just great. Um, yeah, I think, you know, going down the road, I think it's going to be a more emphasis on these guys. Uh, these are going to be the guys that could be quarterbacks of the future. Well, in some cases, they already are the QBs of the future, so you got to protect these guys. You know, there could be some magical, magical games down the line, I think. So with that being said, everybody, that's going to do it for my week three recap. Week four's recap. We're at a preview. Week four preview will be up shortly um, after this video, of course. And we'll just get on to it. Peace, everybody.